today we're going to be talking about Stranger Things. In case you haven't watched the show yet, if you don't want any spoilers, get out of this video. Now, if you have watched the show, you might keep on going with the video. Okay, so well, what do I think of the show in general? Really, really good show. Loved it. I don't really like... I mean, I like them, just that I'm, I kind of watch them like horror shows. This one, which is kind of a horror or terror, but not really. So, it's alright. It's... it's good. Uh, because it was... this is what I think, it was not just scary. It has a few youngsters that I was like... Oh my... Whoa! But it's, it's just more of a tension building show. That's the first thing. And it's really good, it's really well made. Uh, you have the introduction and you are getting to the show, yes, in the first scene. The first scene, uh, if you don't remember, is this person that we didn't know and I don't think we ever see again uh, that is running on this uh, corridor. We don't know why, we don't know where he is. And he's running in the cinematography and the editing and we're just really like tapped because what we're seeing is like the lights going on and off all the time. And then he gets into the uh, elevator, and as always happens in kind of horror shows, you know, he's clicking super fast, I want to go up, but it's not going up. Anyway, it's not like it matters because the thing comes from up. So, well, shot tap. And so, that's the introduction to the show. We know that there's some supernatural creature out there that has taken this person, but we don't know anything else. And then we go and see these kids that are playing the Dungeons and Dragons, and which is cool. And we are introduced to the characters, how they're gonna be, a bit nerdy, a bit, uh, bit, yeah, that's one of the things that established her, and then super friendly, super bound together, and I know this because I've watched a few interviews, and it actually, it's actually true, the bonding and it later develops throughout the whole season, it's really close to that of a lot of 80s um, movies, teen movies. It has a lot of reference to 80s teen movies, the show. It has a lot of that. Uh, so, for example, the bonding for me is a lot of Stand By Me, if you watch that. And I feel like the Goonies also, because I think they said something about the Goonies for characters at the beginning. So we have that, and then he goes missing, of course. Will goes missing, which is the main point, the emphasis of the whole season starts there, one of the emphasis, which is, where is Will? And some people, I don't know, might not care what is Will, because actually, <laughs> who cares about Will when you have a demogorgon going on who can kill you and there's another dimension that's really creepy out there. And well, it's, it's really important, because if we don't know that Will disappears, nothing will be going wrong. We wouldn't have all the characters going crazy and looking for a wheel. We couldn't know about this other dimension. So everything triggers with Will. So Will is what I will call the trigger of the show. And that's his mission. Then we have another bit of a trigger, uh, but she has more of a I don't know, focus point and it's more important for other stuff as well. So we have Eleven who appears later. Yes, it's Will goes missing, one character less, one character more, with the eleven appearing. And she goes into being this uh, supernatural creature in a way that's gonna help all the characters. Is it a character? It's because she's a bit of a, I'll say, a bit weird. They call it weird. I'm gonna say it's weird because she doesn't have the normal structure, uh, the norm normal and regular life of a kid, so she doesn't know, you know, how to behave and all that stuff. So it's normal that she makes mistakes and that she wants to protect them, but because she doesn't really know how to communicate this, there's a lot of um, not understanding each other, and that's when the problems, I'll say, are created between a group. When we have this breakup between Lucas and Mike, I think that's the focus point, is because I'm communication, basically. Okay, so of course Eleven is not, is that we see that at the end of the season, uh, she kills the Demogorgon, 
and disappears. So we have two things. Demogorgon is apparently dead and so is she. But are they really dead? Uh, I think that's going to be explored throughout the season 2 because we saw them just disappear from like explode into nothing. Okay, but where's that nothing? Because you will learn that there is another parallel universe. Why might not be another parallel universe where they have gone through and something can be worked out there. Not really sure, I think they're gonna play with Eleven. Eleven is not done. The Demogorgon probably, not all supernatural creatures that look demogorgon -y, but the first Demogorgon is gone. That one, yeah, I'm sure of that. And Eleven, of course, who having all the superpowers, is a super, as we have a lot of times, super uh, focus point in terms that we have our uh, kids that are bonding with her, then we have the adults uh, surrounding her, not, I mean, not literally, in, because they are looking for her and they're getting information about her in, in one on the other side. We have the scientists which are looking for her and we have the sheriff and Will's mother who are starting to know this person. So we have that they all know her and it all spins around her at a lot of points. I think they got me really mad was if you noticed this. Okay, there was a big problem with our communication in here, which it didn't purpose. But it's that we have the kids going and resolving the mystery on one side, and we have the teens going on another side, and then we have the adults on another side. So they knew all this information, each of them knew a lot of information, but because they didn't share it, they couldn't start to really make something. And the moment they actually communicated, it's when everything started going on. And when the search party, um, I mean search party that they did on the parallel universe, and when um, they do the pool and connect with Barbara and with Will, goes on. So that's that's a lot and a key point and in this season two communication, how it affects it to some extent. And now, Will. Okay, Will. We saw Will is alive. We saw uh, Will is back. Uh, he's back with some, well, with some new things. So when he coughs, we saw that he coughed this kind of uh, snaky thing, small, that looks a lot like the ones that were on the pilot universe. So now, the question is, what does that mean? And that is of course going to be treated on the next season. Uh, is that Does that mean that those snakes are still alive, so there are still forms or monster that, of monsters that can still do something for the pilot universe? And then another thing, that I focused um, was, do you remember when the sheriff and Will's mother um, were going through a parallel universe? The, one of the first things they saw was this kind of egg thing. And I think that's an egg. So that means that it either another Demogorgon or another supernatural creature that is gonna cause trouble. So that's my theory. With, between the snakes and the egg thing, there's gonna be so I'm stopping on there and then eleven and then they're gonna put some romantic in there because they have to. I mean they did a bit of romantic and first season between the teens and they're gonna keep that on. I believe Jonathan is is still gonna play a part on on the other two teens. So we'll see, I think they're gonna create that thing called triangle. Similar to a triangle. I don't know how much, but yeah, there is going to be that. I'm just guessing. <laughs> uh, so that are my guesses. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm the sheriff. Where did the sheriff went? I'm sorry. Where did the sheriff go when he got out of the hospital? He got this car and went somewhere with nowhere, and then he went to this kind of like box things and let some food in there. What does that mean? That's the thing. Um, maybe with Eleven. I'm thinking something related with Eleven or with new kids being treated like to create an Eleven. Something like that. Uh, but we'll learn that. So those are my guesses for season two. Uh, thematics. And yeah, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Comment what you think of Stranger Things and what, will you, what you think will happen. And subscribe to my channel as well. 
See you in another video.